I'm Cheyenne. This is the Book of Mermaid. We're going through my favorites for the first quarter of the year. Hold on a second, I'm open, opening the Google Doc. These are all of my, my most favorite things that I've enjoyed over uh, January, February, and March. I do have these divided into categories. I don't know if the categories will change. It all kind of like, depends on what I love that month, what I do that month, what I experience that month, uh, quarter, multiple months. The first section that I have is books and booktube. So that kind of encompasses any books that I've read, any booktube uh, movie adaptations, any like, new booktubers I watch, things like that, or like any like booktube video that I particularly cared for and like liked and think other people should watch. Those would all go in this section. So out of the books that I read in the first quarter, three of them made my top favorites list. I did and do talk a lot about them in previous videos. And actually my quarter wrap up talks about these three like, in more specifically. So I'll link that down below. But the first one that I read was Toil and Trouble, 15 Tales of Women and Witchcraft. This is an anthology about women and witchcraft. I highly recommend the audiobook. Do check out the trigger warnings first, however. The next book that I have is Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. I have been screeching about this book since I read it. It's real good. Uh, this is a book about a girl who can see ghosts and then she ends up going to Yale by some like circumstances. And there are these like secret societies at Yale and it's very good. The FedEx truck is backing into my driveway. Anyway, I had some thoughts, definitely one of my favorites. And uh, actually, Docile by Kim Sispara, I never say the name right. Uh, this is a book about a world, it's a science fiction romance book. It's about a world where you accrue all the debt of your ancestors. So you can sell yourself into basic like, slavery to pay off some of that debt. So you go, you get purchased, you can agree on who you work for, and then you can choose or choose not to take Dosseline. Now Dosseline is a drug that kind of puts you in this like high kind of state where like, and you don't remember anything by the time uh, of the time that you were in this like, in this situation. And the main character refuses Dosseline, but the person that he's working for is the, per is the family who makes Dosseline. And that's like the first half of the book. The second half of the book is a whole different thing, like taking down governments and institutions and like working on the side effects of the drug. It's This book has a lot of different parts to it. <laughs> and it became one of my favorites and I very much enjoyed it and I gave all of them five stars. The next thing that I wanna mention is uh, my book club, the Sisterhood of the Traveling Books Book Club. We have uh, live shows once a month. It's a good time. We sit, we talk, we chat about books. With that, we have our trailer, uh, which is on Yumi's channel. I made that. It took forever. I'm very proud of it. Please go watch it. I also enjoyed making aesthetic boards for the book club and for us who are in the book club. <laughs> a couple readathons I really enjoyed uh, this quarter. Demonathon. The second round of that's going to be coming up. Well, I'll link that Twitter down below. The Bookie Trials Royal Weekender, which was my first Bookie Trials. Did that over the weekend. That was lots of fun. I'll link that Twitter down below. I have TBR videos for both of them. And then I have a vlog for the Bookie Trials Royal Weekender. I'll also link those down below. I made some new booktuber friends this quarter, Rachel and Zach. They are great. However, I question their taste because neither of them like Ninth House by Lee Rodrigo and they're wrong. I still enjoy their company significantly and they're just, they're just so smart and so nice. And I just, I'm very grateful that we're friends now. Speaking of Rachel, she actually did one of my favorite videos on booktube this, this quarter. And it was for International Women's Day where she got a bunch of female booktubers to talk about female characters, female authors, and like other female booktubers. And it was great. And it was just wonderful to see all these things. And I'm in it. So 
I will also link that down below. Last one for this particular section is my new channel art. It's super cute, super on brand, and it was made by Diana from Paperback Jedi, who was one of my like first couple friends here on booktube, and I love her, and it was super generous of her. She just did it because she wanted to, and I'm just super grateful, and I love her, and I love it, and it's mermaids! <laughs> The next section I have is TV and film. I have three things for this. I don't watch a lot of TV and film right now. I go through these things where I watch all of the TV and film or I watch none of the TV and film. To paraphrase Allie from Diagon Alley 394, I'm either at zero or a hundred. There is no in between. So per Yumi and Allie's suggestion, I watched Castlevania, Vanya, Vanya? It's on Netflix and it's about Dracula and his son Alucard and this dude who's like a monster hunter of a family that's been disowned by the church. It's super great. There are three seasons. I just like blew through all of them. It's great. Apparently it's based on a video game uh, but I was never allowed to play video games and I feel like I missed the boat with that so I have not played it but I very much enjoyed the show. I'd probably give it like a four star 3.75 star only because like there's a lot of gore in that show and I am not one for gore even animated gore it's like it's kind of gross a little bit gross I don't like things that are gross the next thing I watched was on Disney plus and that was Frozen 2 so I'm not gonna talk too much about it but I very much enjoyed it okay my absolute favorite of tv and film that I watched this quarter is Motherland Fort Salem it is a alternate universe where there were witches during the war and now every witch has to be like inscripted into the army and you have to learn magic and it's all like based on like your voice and sound and I love it it's so good and it's also so gay Highly recommend. It's on Hulu. Okay, and then I have a bit of a list of some other stuff. So that's it for TV and film. The next section is just other things that don't necessarily fit in a category. So the first in other is, if, well, eh, okay. So I've mentioned on here before that I have a best friend. Her name is Michelle. She is a Hufflepuff and I am a Slytherin, obviously. And recently I've been, you know, on Pinterest finding all these like Slytherin Hufflepuff memes. And it's like the Slytherin kind of like adopts a Hufflepuff. And I just, I love them. <laughs> and it's just like, very much me and Michelle. <laughs> and they make me laugh. And I just enjoy them. <laughs> they let the penguins out. I just... This cat. <laughs> Absolutely precious. This owl sitting crisscross applesauce. Making aesthetic boards for the characters for the book that I'm writing, which is really the only actual progress I made at all this quarter with that, so. The fact that Yumi Yamamoto has pledged to watch the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie because I discovered that she doesn't know who Ivan Ooze is. And that is the greatest travesty of them all. And unacceptable. These muscular Victorian ladies. And last, but certainly not least, this tweet. <laughs> So that's it. Those are my favorites for this quarter. I had a good time going back and like thinking of all the things that I like really enjoyed and laughing and just getting all the feels about certain things. So let me know down below if you've either read, watched, or saw any of the things that I mentioned and have a great day.